Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome back to my channel. You know, sometimes in IT, actually most of the times in IT, you have to be flexible. Flexible to the way technology changes, flexible to the way schedules change, and, you know, when things arise that are priority over others, you have to, you know, learn how to shift gears. And that's what we're doing tonight, because I have a very small amount of time to make a video. We were going to do another 802.1x video tonight that's going to get pushed off until next week with more VPN videos but tonight we're going to talk about the flexibility of the Unify controller and access points and WLAN groups and how we can configure that so let's uh, let's log into our Unify and get started so here is Unify and we're logged in we take a look at our devices that we've got. We've got the Lab HD and the Mesh AC2. Now, when we come over here to settings, uh, wireless networks, we can, by default, assign four SSIDs or four wireless networks to each access point. That's out of the box. So if I create four, that's it and you can see right here it says a maximum of four wireless networks are allowed per WLAN group so does that mean that one site can only have four wireless networks or SSIDs no that's not what that means that means that you can leverage groups and overrides so let's take a look at that right here you see under wireless networks it says WLAN group default and if I drop that down there's nothing else I can click the pencil to edit it. There's the name, default. We've got mobility, enable seamless roaming, and you can see zero handoff can only be enabled for non-default WLAN groups, and then we can support legacy devices. Now, if you're lucky enough to be able to check this box, or to not have to check this box, I mean, uh, good for you, because 802.11b devices will just bring your network down. So somehow there are still manufacturers using 802.11b. I don't know how and I don't know why. I don't know if there was a huge warehouse full of these things and they're like, we need to use them up. I, I don't know. But I know that there are devices, uh, scales and things like that that still use 802.11b. They shouldn't. It is uh, 2017. But if you have to enable that and I'm done talking about it, done ranting about it, after this if you do have to enable it it will you know drag the rest of your network down so if we come over here and we click this big plus sign and if you hover over it it says add a new WLAN group so if we click on that we can call this we'll call this uh, Willy one and we are not gonna do zero handoff um, and if you want to know more about zero handoff look at the Unify documentation I'm not even gonna talk about it right now um, maybe something that I talk about later but we're not going to cover it here so we're going to save that and so now we have WLAN group Willy1 and now in here we can say SSID is 1 and we can just leave it we'll just I'm just doing our uh, exclamation point I'm just doing this as uh, as an example and apparently um, someone sent me a message. Apparently, emoticons in SSIDs are the latest rage, and there's a hack out there for the Unify controller. I'm not going to try it, but if you look it up, uh, it is out there. So we've created four networks. And we each one of these could have a different configuration. So we could, you know, say that this is a guest network, and then we could change this to use uh, VLAN 22, which at this point doesn't exist. We can also change the user group so we can make it so it's 56k, and we could save it. And so we could have all of these different configurations on all of these different wireless networks. And then what we can do is we can come over here to devices, and we can pull up the Lab HD and we can come over to configuration and we can go down to WLANs and it splits the access point into its radios right so you've got WLANs for the 2 gigahertz and WLANs for the 5 gigahertz and what you can do is you can select 
the different WLAN group that you have created. So we could leave, you know, default up here for the 2 gigahertz, and then for 5 gigahertz, we could have all of these networks. And if we queue these changes up right here, well, let's just do it. Uh, I'm not sure what's on 5 gigahertz at the moment, but we'll go ahead and apply these changes so it's going to sync out to the lab HD. While that's, um, while that's syncing, what we'll do is we'll come over here to the mesh AC and we'll talk about overrides. So our lab HD is provisioning. We're going to come over to configuration. So this is the other way that you can get different SSIDs besides those four. Now it's not really ex extending because I, you know, we can still just have the four. But if we go down to WLANs, we can do an override. So under this WLAN group two, we can still use the default, but we can override this and we can. Um, change the SSID. So you could have a standard WLAN group that's kind of hard to follow. So think about this. So you can have your, your WLAN group, and we've got a default group that has FBI VAN Enterprise and FBI VAN, but we can go in and override at the access point level each of the WLANs. So that's another way that you can manipulate it. So if we Let's see, if I unplug my machine from the network, the HD is refreshed. So if we open this, now we see all of those SSIDs. So we see FBI van, uh, we have exclamation point, four, smiley face, get off my wireless. There's uh, Roku, PlayStation 4, Genie 35, uh, that's my neighbor. Um, but you can see that we've now gone above and beyond, you know, four SSIDs because we've leveraged uh, WLAN groups and splitting them between radios and all that. So if you've got, you know, 10 APs, you can see how you could have a number of different SSIDs and you could match them up to the same VLANs on the, on the backside or you can match them to different VLANs. You can have different types of authentication and things like that. So play around with that. If you've got any questions, you know, post it down in the comments. I'm going to plug this guy in real quick. And that's it for tonight. And WLAN groups and overrides on access points. Like I said, if you've got any questions, post them below as always. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. There's a PayPal donation link down there. There are Amazon links, so if you want to buy some of this awesome gear, you can do that. Those are my affiliate links. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share, and we'll see you at the next video.